After just two weeks in office, North Texas Congresswoman Beth Van Dyne spent the day touring vaccination hubs in Tarrant, Denton, and Dallas counties to look at roadblocks in a vaccine rollout. Allie Spilliards was there as county leaders shared the challenges they're facing. Across Tarrant, Denton, and Dallas counties, the race to vaccinate looks different. But with their list of people waiting, topping 340,000 in a single county, leaders agree there's simply not enough supply. You know, there's logistic nightmares that are going along with trying to get 8 million people in the Metroplex served. Today, newly elected U.S. Representative Beth Van Dyne toured the hubs looking for bottlenecks in ways the federal government can provide support. Beyond scarcity, health officials told her their biggest pain points were not having enough volunteers, not knowing week to week how many vaccines they'll actually get, leading to staffing problems and short notices for those next in line. We're only going to invite when we have the vaccine on hand. So we are waiting for those shipments of vaccine to arrive, and then we deploy those appointments as quickly as possible. There's also the cost to operate, which can run into the tens of thousands each day. CARES ACT MONEY HAS RUN OUT ESSENTIALLY FOR THESE THINGS, SO WE'RE, we're GOING TO NEED MORE HELP. WE'RE GOING TO NEED ANOTHER ROUND of, OF FEDERAL ASSISTANCE FOR THAT. IT'S JUST ONE OF THE SOLUTIONS TODAY'S LEADERS AGREED TRIPLE DOWN FROM THE TOP. RIGHT NOW, WHAT WE NEED TO FOCUS ON IS MAKING SURE THAT WE ARE GETTING ALL OF THE, the, the STUMBLING BLOCKS OUT OF THE WAY FOR MANUFACTURING OF NEW VACCINES, MAKE SURE THAT WE'RE DOING IT IN A SAFE MANNER. A MOVE THAT COULD PUT VACCINES IN THE HANDS OF PHARMACIES AND DOCTORS' OFFICES, ALLOWING LOCAL GOVERNMENTS TO TURN THEIR FOCUS TO UNDERSERVED COMMUNITIES. BUT THEY WARN THAT COULD BE MONTHS AWAY. IN DALLAS, ALLIE SPILLIARDS, NBC5.